So we're going to add a NS text view, an NS button to fire our method that will bring up the popover, and a custom view, which is actually the popover view that will be displayed. Next, we're going to drag out a popover and view controller. And now we're going to just hook these different items up. Pop over view controller first. Just drag from the view down to the custom view to connect those. Then select the pop over and connect the delegate to the app delegate or the class that's going to control your popover. Don't forget to change the behavior here to transient so that the popover dismisses. Swap to the app delegate or your class's header file and include a property for the popover. Another one for the text view. Be careful that you actually are selecting the text view here and not the scroll view. And finally, one for the windows view as well. Now we're going to swap to the implementation file. M file, .m file. And here we're going to add the method for the button. This is what's going to fire the popover. Just drag from the button in Assistant Editor view. I'm calling mine Enter Selection. You can fire this in other ways, but I'm just going to use a button for this demo. And now we're going to get the rect for the selection. That rect is actually in screen coordinates, so we need to convert it to the Windows coordinates with convert rect from screen. And now we can fire the popover by putting in the converted rect and the uh, AView property. Next, switch to the header file, switch back to the header file, and just add the NS popover delegate here. And now you're good to build and run. There's the test.